all right guys i am finally back with a video on this makeup look here and i just want to thank first of all my insta fam and my facebook fam and just my overall family and the people that are in my life because you guys are the ones that requested this makeup look i posted it yesterday on my Facebook page, on my Instagram, and I just got a ton of love for it, and everybody wanted to see an actual video on it, and for that, thank you. Um, this is what happens when you give me a good 20, 30 minutes alone in my room by myself, and a makeup palette and this is what i came out with you know originally this was just like kind of a joke for me um i wanted to do kind of my twist on being from wakanda and being a princess and that's where this whole head wrap like headpiece and the makeup look came from and then i really liked it as i was putting things together i really really liked it and I really enjoyed it. So if you guys want to see how to get this makeup look here, then please keep watching. All right, so now I've already done my base, which is my brows, I've primed my skin, and I've also done a nice base on my eyes for my eyeshadow, and now we're gonna go in with the colors. So to recreate that look, I first started out with some pigments from the Smashbox um, Masterclass palette, I believe that's what you call this. Um, and I just used some of the pink, pink, sorry, I can't talk, some of the pink pigments from this collection um, this one's really nice because um, it comes with a bunch of different colors these are all the darker cool tones in there and then I took out the warmer tones which are these that we will be using so the first colors that I'm gonna go in with will be this column here of all the pink pigments and I'm gonna go in with this color first which is candy and we're gonna pop that into the outer crease a blending brush here this is by wet and wild and it's a dollar at the dollar store to be completely honest with you I put in. I used to hate pink eyeshadows like really hated them for some reason pink screamed like baby kid vibes to me and I just hated it you couldn't tell me anything I hated the colors And I always create like a V on the outer corner just because it elongates the eye. And whatever acts, you know, leftover uh, pigment that I have on the brush, I just bring it into the inner corner of the crease. And I'm not adding anything extra, this is just what's left over. From what I already use. And I'm just going to do the same thing to the other side. Alright, so now that I have um, candy on both lids, just to kind of blend that out, that's probably the most important part about this makeup look is the blending process. I'm going to go in now with Naked, which is this very light um, pink. And I'm just going to put that on this Morphe E27 brush. The wider the bristles are, the least amount of pigment that you're going to have, which is great for blending. So I'm just going to go in just a little bit, just dabbing it in there. And then I'm just going to blend out that shadow so it's not as intense. We're not getting rid of the pigment, but we don't want it to look like a block of pink on our lids. So now that we've blended out that very pink look, I'm going to go in now with my Jaclyn Hill palette here. And I wanted to kind of darken up the outer corners of this makeup look. So I'm going to go in with uh, this kind of like reddish color here. It's like an orange red. And I'm going to put that in the outer corner. And that one's called Roxana. And I'm just going to use a, again, a tapered blending brush. This one has even more wider bristles, but it gets very, um, what do you call it? 
it gets tinier at the very tip so this one is great for um, going in very precise specific areas so I'm just gonna go in with that color Right, and I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side. I'm gonna go in again with that E27 brush and we're just gonna kind of blend that out. Um, we're gonna blend that out and just give it a more gradient effect instead of it looking like blocks of different colors. And again, I'm not adding any extra product to this. This is literally just a buffer. Okay, so now on to the lid. Um, because my lids are kind of folded, I always tr try to fake a um, wider lid. So in order to do that, I normally use concealer to give myself the appearance of having a wider lid that's not as folded, um, especially when I'm using things like glitters and shimmers and things like that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with my um, LA Girl Pro Concealer. This is in color natural. Um, it's okay if you use like a lighter, um, you know, concealer because it's literally just to carve out um, the lid area. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Um, these are nice because they have like a brush already on them. Um, so you're not doing anything really extra unless you wanna be more precise. And then to clean up the edges so that way it doesn't look too what's the word so it doesn't look like I'm faking an eyelid um, I'm just gonna go back in with that um, Morphe brush the tapered one um, I'm not putting any extra product on it but I'm just blending out that line so it's not as noticeable That's right here. I'll be using a combination of these two shadows here, and this is Little Lady um, and Sis. So I'll be using both of those, and I'm just focusing it here on the outer corners. Now I'm going to go in with the inner corner pigment shade and I'll be using the, this color by Urban Decay and it is Snatched. This one's nice. It has a lot of uh, shimmer in it. It's very iridescent of a shade. So I'm just going to use that same brush I was using before and I'm just going to apply it. It also has really cute gold preflex in it which I didn't notice before the first time around doing it but that makes me even more excited. So I'm just going to place that in there. And because this is not enough shimmer <laughs> for me, this just is like the guideline for me of the shape and everything. But I love anything with glitter, shimmer, anything that sparkles and makes you go blind. I love it. So I'm gonna go in with the Urban Decay Space Cowboy eyeshadow piggy middle of the eyeshadow where the two with the dark shades and the lighter shades meet because um, I just want a nice reflect whenever I turn my head. Um, as you guys saw from my last video, I, anything that makes me do that is a good thing. Alright, 
So um, for foundation, I will be trying out the new Super Stay 24 Hour Maybelline um, foundation. This one, um, I've heard mixed reviews about it, but I really wanted to try something that was more affordable than the foundation that I used in that photo. Um, I used the Too Faced uh, Born This Way foundation, which is an amazing foundation, but I do understand that that's not really reasonable for everybody. So I decided to try this one. It is $12. I got it at Target. Um, but what I did with the other one was I mixed it with the um, Tarte Pro Glow. This is a liquid highlight. And I just mixed it too because I really wanted this look to be very bright and very colorful. So that also starts with your foundation as well. So all I'm going to do is... The other thing I like about this is that it has a pump. Sorry, I get way off track sometimes. But this actually has a pump on it, unlike the other um, Maybelline foundations that I have. Um, but I'm just going to literally pump this. Two pumps on my hand because I have a huge head. Um, <laughs> and then I'm going to go in with the Pro Glow. And this one, you only need a little bit of it. We're not trying to beam to the moon and back, but that should be enough there. And I'm just going to mix it too. Okay. And now I'm going to highlight my skin. I'll be using the Maybelline Age Rewind. Why can't I say that? Age Rewind um, Concealer. This one's great, especially if you have like bags underneath your eyes or if you have like hyperpigmentation. I like this one. It pretty much does the job and covers it all up. And And this one's cool. This is by Eco Tool, and it has two flat sides, which I can use, and also a even sharper flat side here, which I can use for the nose area. So even though I sat underneath my under eyes, now it's time to set the full face. I'm going to be going in with the Maybelline, Maybelline Fit Me um, Loose Setting Powder and this is in color medium to deep. Mom Cosmetics. Uh, this is the Girls Trio blush set. Okay, I gotta stop before I add way too much. And then I'm gonna do the same thing. But I'm going to go in with eyeliner. And today I'm using, like always, I'll be using the NYX Matte um, Liquid Liner. I'll be taking Take 5. This is by ColourPop. And I'll be applying it to the lips while also using the Milani Luminoso lip gloss on top in the center. Alright guys, so I set my makeup and I put this adorable headpiece on. Believe it or not, it's actually a necklace that I love to wear as a headpiece. I am obsessed with the Outcome 
of this makeup look. I love the highlight especially. That's my favorite part of any makeup look. The eyes, I love everything about this makeup look. I love and I'm just so happy I was able to share with you guys and that everybody, you know, shared really good love on, you know, Instagram and on Facebook for this makeup look and that you guys wanted to see a video on it. Um, this is what happens when you give me a good 20 minutes in my room by myself with a camera you come up with it I come up I came up with this and I'm glad that everybody loved it and liked it and shared so much and I hope that you guys really appreciate it and let me know in the comments below what your favorite part of this makeup look is and what you guys would like to see next from me um I would just love it so much um but anyways if you guys like this please remember to give it a thumbs up and make sure that you are subscribed for any future videos that I do um and as always it's so important for me that you guys always feel beautiful and that you are always being you because that's the best that you can be you know you can't be anything more than you and I always want people to be you know be brave and to try something new you know this whole thing here for me is very new so as always be brave be beautiful and always be you and I will see you guys on my next video hopefully sometime soon um but yeah anyways until the next one bye